once we get there. There we are. I am now live. We are now live. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all well out there. Hope you're all well. I know for some of you, you're not going to be watching live. You watch your replay crew. But, hey, I'll tell you what. Dave likes to do this in the morning. So <laughs> he's a morning person, guys. So I love it. I absolutely, I, I'll be honest with you, Dave, before I introduce you and everything. What you said, let's do this at 6.30 a.m. Eastern. I love you because this is 11.30 for me in the morning. So yep. I never stream this time. And this is ideal for me, you know, because this is like a, a dull time for me. So I appreciate you, my man. And uh, anyway, Listen, let's... I, I'm, I'm like, I'm just a, a type of person who like when I get out of bed, if I kind of like just lay around like on the weekends or whatever, like if I just yeah, lay yeah. around, I'm like dreary the rest of the day. Like just yeah. get up and start moving. Like my wife yeah. friggin' hates it, but why get up, start moving and it builds upon the day. So yeah, I appreciate I you doing this at this time. So no, no, it's fine. Hey, anytime, you know, uh, as I say, I uh, don't expect many people to be alive, but that's fine. Replay crew, you know what to do. You know what to do. You need to like share it and all that. And I know a lot of people, Joe's, you know, them, they're there in Arizona, quarter past three in the morning, uh, half past three, sorry, in the morning. They won't be here, but you guys will be sharing. I know you will. So do we? So, do we have a? Uh, do we have a defense fund to promote where we can like share ninety percent? We, we'll take ninety percent and we'll give ten percent to the defense. Can we do that today or no? Oh, I, I haven't lined it up. I'm set it up for any shit. Next <laughs> one now. I'll make sure we got it. Go fund me. You got to monetize it. You can't rely on these ads. You got to monetize the right way. You know. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, if I was relying on the ads, I'd be skinned, man. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> I get demonetized all the time. So I, I don't do that. So it's all right. Uh, but before we get started, Dave, tell us a little bit about yourself. You know, um, I'm thankful that you come on the, on the program. As we said initially, we're just chatting shit here. You're from the area. You know yeah. a lot more about the vibe there than I do. I'm interested in the case. So, yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, a little bit. So I, you know, out of college, like worked in radio and media and podcasting. Uh, the relevant job that I've had was with the Kirk Minahan show. I think that's probably where you saw me, unless you just saw me yeah. randomly tweeting no. about Karen Reed. Um, and so with working on that show, I also got an opportunity to work on his true crime podcast and that second season, we focused on a case in Stoughton, Massachusetts, which is the town next to Canton. Um, and it's basically the same players involved in this investigation are involved in the Karen or involved in that investigation are involved in the Karen Reed one. So it was super of interest. And when we were talking with people for that story, I actually had someone, you know, I was asking them about the Stoughton case and they're like, uh, I'll answer whatever questions you want. But this one is about to blow up. And she was taught that person was talking about the Karen Reed story. That was in April. I mean, that was in November of 2022. Okay. Turtle boys. First blog was April of 2023. So we're talking like, you know, four or five months before it exploded, before turtle boy gave a voice to the other side to make this be what it is today. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, so I've been following along ever since she said that, um, and it's just, it's, it's a wild one. I saw your video where you were crying the other day about, uh, <laughs> about the vitriol that's on social media. And we were talking about yeah. it off air. It's, it's, it's to be expected. I mean, this is the internet and this is people who, if you believe one side, you're going to fight for that side, especially when it comes yeah. to getting justice for somebody or, you know, somebody died in this situation. I compared it to when I went to a Red Sox Yankees game growing up as a kid, I knew I might look down from the stands and see, you know, a couple drunk guys getting into a fist fight over a baseball team, for God's sakes. You know, yeah. so it this this is now this is over a person's life. This is a person fighting for their life to stay out of prison if they believe they didn't do it. So it's I, I just think that vitriol is to be expected and you know it, it is what it is. So stop your crying on your YouTube channel. Move on. I know. I, I thought it, <laughs> get I thought in the mud with the rest of us. It's, hey, that's all you can I, do. I, hey, yeah, I need clicks, man. I need clicks. I got yeah. off an angle. I think <laughs> that's how you become successful, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I just presume or, you can get or, successful. Or you're kind of a pussy like me, to be honest, because I am... First of all, I go with the wind. Like when I was on Kirk's show, I was completely exposed by this. Is I'll yeah. have an opinion. I'll have an opinion. And then two seconds later, like Kirk would have said something and I'd do a 180 on that opinion. I would backtrack. I would do this. And that's because the reality is, at least in my life, like when I'm at home with my wife, we're watching reality TV show and talking about like dumb Kardashian drama, right? The only time I get an opportunity to really talk about 
whether it be a Karen Reed case or whether it be Stephen A. Smith just did a podcast about Jason Whitlock. It's only on these podcasts. So I re- really like don't have these. I don't have any pushback on my ideas before we talk about it for the first time. Yeah. And so yeah. I think it's normal. I just took a whole bunch of shit for changing my ways. But this case is no different. I'm as invested in this case um, from an entertainment standpoint, first and foremost, not from like a I'm I'm not monetizing it in any way. I'm just like I'm amused by it. I'm interested in it. And it's I would rather tweet about something like that than, you know, get on Twitter and be like, oh, it sucks that it's cold outside today. And yeah. so I, I expect to be shit on. And I think it's funny and I think it's good. It's it's the side of it to your point. Again, here's me with the 180, which is the people who don't understand that and can't take it. It's like I I'm riding a fence. I'm being sarcastic. I'm doing this and that. And then all of a sudden there's some psychopath calling me a soy boy which is actually probably true but like they're just going at me and it's like do you just look at my look at my timeline look at the way i respond you're you're gonna quickly point out like i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about so you're probably yeah. wasting your time like getting all worked up about me you know yeah. it's pointless yeah so i know i know uh, and half of, I, I say stuff in jest as well, and people don't get my humour whatsoever. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it's it's fine. It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it might be the British thing, but uh, I do think that some Americans do understand it sort of now. Um, but you're right. I mean, also I look at it in a few different ways as well. With uh, we'll get to the boy now, um, but like with Karen Reed, my well, my background here is innocent unless proven guilty. I'm very much a, a, a basis of who the fuck are you to say someone's guilty, not guilty. Until they're on trial, they're not guilty, as in they're innocent. Do you know what I mean? That's my view on it. And we spoke briefly about this before, and about Alex Murdoch. I got shot on by yeah. the public when I said, the guy's not even on trial yet, and you've convicted him. You know, I don't believe in that. I don't believe that's the right thing to do or the right thing for the judicial system in America, uh, where you know everyone has a right for a fair trial and yeah. everyone is presumed innocent unless proven guilty. That's what I thought. America's America's got it right. Well, I was pretty shocked when everyone was like, no, Netflix told us, or yep. this podcast told us he's guilty as shit. Yeah. I'm like, what? Well, I you mean know, that's so- but that's the way of the world now, right? It's like yeah. it's it's you find people that you like to listen to, and you pretty much are like ninety percent in line with that person and you're and you defend that person's viewpoints, right? Like that's yeah. why whether it be podcasting or YouTube channel, that's why those ads work so well. It's because there's deliberate action where I'm clicking on your channel because I want to hear what you have to say. And when you tell me to buy something, I buy something, you know? So it's like, it's, it's just a, I just think that's the way of the world now. People aren't necessarily challenging viewpoints, you know, like if they're, if they're calling, like, I don't listen to NPR. I kind of, I just think it's, I don't know, it's blah, it's bland, it's whatever. But like people aren't calling NPR to argue with them. They're calling with NPR to like feel better about their own opinion that they have because they agree with, you know, it's just weird. This is no, I don't know. We used to say that with Kirk and Kirk used to do it. Like there's no, there's no disagreement anymore, really. There's just no, and and there's no like disagreement and then shake hands after really. So that's just the way the world, whether you like it or not. You know? yeah, no, I, I totally agree with you. I yeah. actually, totally agree with you, uh, actually. I think one of the things I love about my channel when we do the live streams is uh, people in my chat will say, I, I really don't care what your opinion is. You know, as in, have your opinion. Yesterday we were debating uh, myself and one other, he was, had a totally different opinion, but he was all respectful, uh, completely different. Both respectful, both be able to have a conversation, or yeah. both agree to disagree. Do you know what I mean? Right. No point well, even well, with this it. case, right? Like I've said, I think I said it on Twitter or done a couple of videos on it with Karen Reed, and I think your channel knows, so she is accused of backing over her boyfriend with her car. Mm-hmm. She is saying she didn't do it. Now there's a fight. I, in this specific case, and I don't know if you want to like recap the whole thing, if you want to do it or whatever, but I believe that night that she was blackout drunk. It's just what I believe, right? Yeah. And until I get into that courtroom, I'm open to there being other reasonings. I'm open. I'm still in shock she got home that night. Like She was blackout yeah. drunk. She possibly hit her boyfriend. But then she was still able to drive, whatever, 10 to 15 minutes fine to get home. Uh, I'm That's just what I believe. And until it's proven in a courtroom that that's not what happened, you know, I, I'm just that's yeah. just kind of where I am. But I can talk about all those other scenarios. I don't think yeah. I'm an asshole because I'm willing to say, like, fuck, that really does look like a dog bit his arm. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm but but until it's all in court and all this evidence is flushed out and proven this way or that way, like. That's just the way I feel. I mean, what did she blow that night? I think they, uh, or the next morning, 
She blew a .08, which is legally drunk the next morning. I forget the exact time. And they're estimating what? That she was like .29 that night? I mean, she's and the size of her? I mean, I would just think she's yeah. fucking mangled. Like, I would think yeah, she's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so my thought process was that it was a complete accident and she went home and kind of forgot about it. And then all these people, and this is where we get back to the internet, she says things to, whether it be Carrie Roberts, who's a witness, whether it be to Jen McCabe, who's a witness, she says, I hit him, I hit him. I don't know if you've ever been blackout drunk before. I've been blackout drunk numerous times. I wake up the next morning like, what the fuck did I tweet? Did I say this to that person? Did I do this? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. how my brain... It operates. That's the type of person I am. I, so I don't necessarily think that's saying like, you know, Karen Reed did this because she said to her dad, like, I think I hit somebody or I might have hit somebody mm-hmm. or quote, I hit him, I hit him. Like, no, you're running every fucking scenario in your brain because you barely remember. That's what I think. Yeah. And until until proven otherwise, it just kind of is what it is. No, I think that's fair. I think that's fair assessment. I yeah. hold that thought because we'll get into that a bit more now. And I love the fact that you got that. Um, I know we got shout out to Stoothy Goosey as well. We got the timeline and stuff that we both got actually. So um, shout out to you, Sleuthy, for all the hard work that you do with this spreadsheet. Because without that spreadsheet, I'm fucked. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do my own research. It's like, Everything's there, so jumped out to Scooty Goosey on X. Uh, she's done all the hard work for us. We'll get into that, but first of all, right, I want to talk about this clown, uh, Turtle Boy. Yep. Uh, Aiden Keely, right? So, obviously, <laughs> you again, you probably know a lot more about him and what he's about. He's a blogger slash journalist. I'll just say what I know about him, right? And then you can, you can um, tell me everything I'm wrong about or I'm right, wherever you can fill in, right? Yep. I think Aiden Keeney to the boys and a complete and absolute whack job, right? <laughs> I, I, I generally, right, I think that his heart's in the right place, right, to a certain extent, that he wants sort of justice. Um, and I say that, but then I don't believe that because if he, if he didn't have a YouTube channel, would he be doing all the things that he's doing? And I think the answer to that is no, he probably wouldn't be doing it. So, um, but put that to one side. I think it could well, what would he be? Well, what, what would he be doing? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean by that? I don't think he'd be doing all these things about uh, Karen Reed promoting it, doing um, uh, what's he called? Oh, I, dis- I'll, I disagree with that. I mean, he had a blog, right. he had a blog, he had a show, he has to produce content. And so, You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, so what, what I mean, well, maybe I'm saying that wrong. What I mean is, if you're just a normal lay person that didn't have, well, they worked a nine to five job, right? Yep. I, I don't think he'd be out promoting true crime stuff like Karen Reed and stuff. Uh, but again, could be completely wrong with that. Do you know what I mean? That, that was just my, I say, interpretation. Yep. But anyway, uh, and that's probably being harsh. I do not like his ethics. I don't like anything he does. I don't like the way he does it. I don't like the way he attacks people. I don't like the way he posts uh, pictures of children. I don't like the way he just turns up at schools and does all that sort of thing. I just, I don't like anybody that does that. Not just him. Any journalist that does that, I hate it. I just don't like it at all. Um, I understand that a lot of people love that stuff because it's aggressive in your face and stuff. I just personally don't like it. I think personally he's making the whole thing worse. Um, because he says he wants to get all this, uh, the word out about Karen Reed. He wants to make sure that every potential juror knows about Karen Reed case. But for me, it's like, well, logically, that that doesn't make sense. Because if you're going to tell everybody through social media about the Karen Reed case, then you're 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 basically negating every. They can't. Be a juror essentially, so you're gonna end up with a jury pool of like 60, 70 plus year olds that are not on social, social media. And are those the jury people you want for Karen Reed's case? No, so I just think stop painting it, just you know, let the whole process play out. But that voice but, needed, but that that side needed a voice and didn't have it. And I, I think you and I would probably be lying to each other, like. If the defense came to us and said, we want to be one of your sources to blow up this story into what should be deemed a bigger thing, like, I think we'd be lying to say that we wouldn't cover it and we wouldn't real. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be fine with him doing that. I've got no issues with him doing that. I've got no issues with what he's doing with Karen getting the story. That, that's not my issue. Maybe yeah. I'm saying that wrong. My issue is the way he's doing it. Um, yeah. 
in so the way he's going to people's houses harassing people i don't like that you could tell a story i think i like it if it's i like it if it's within the law like i like it if it's if he's doing everything by the book right if it's if it's legal to do a protest outside somebody's business right outside and like deliberately protest them or whatever that uh, I think go to town, like do everything it does. It is would I do it that way. I'm, I mean, no, I'm a pussy to be honest with you, but like yeah, yeah, I, yeah, it, it, to your point, like his style is not my style. And I know, mm-hmm. I, I don't know exactly what's within his rights to go about it. I know that he has an ability to really rile people up and get to his mm-hmm. side and do things. And I do know, and I do believe that he's smart enough to say like, when he's not saying something or like when he's not telling you to do something, he's telling you to do, like, you know, like you can hear him and you can hear what he's kind of suggesting. But I, as long as it's within reason and it's well-intentioned, like, and it's not against the law, I say fucking go to town. And there's a lot of journalists that just like legitimately aren't doing journalism to expand a story. I just think he got way too aggressive probably. And it yeah. just, it's just too much, um, yeah. and it's and uh, it's biting him in the ass now, you know. And and by the way, like I think he would be the first person to say, as long as he a hundred percent believes what he's saying, it, it this should all be worth it. Like it, who gives it? Like who gives a fuck what happens? Like this is this is a story that you're telling people you believe like deep down, and you're seeing his his uh, random tweets from like somebody's posting on his behalf from from jail or whatever. It's like. He yeah. seemed, he's trying to claim like he really, really believes she's innocent. So if you believe that, you really shouldn't have a problem that you're in jail right now. Just keep fighting and your side will be proven out in the end, you know? Yeah, that's an interesting way to say it, you know. I think, as I say, he was one of the first people that I was signposted to view about this case. And yep. people told me, and I started watching his video and I thought he was really good. He's getting stuff across. And then he just blew up. And that's where I lost interest in him. Right. Um, to be quite honest, then. I just for me he was just way too aggressive. He's uh, always he's always straggled that line here locally. Yeah, like okay. he's not taken seriously. Like I think he's really listen. I've known him for years on the personal level and on monitoring his stuff. Like I don't even really know how he wants to describe himself. Like, are you a blogger or are you a journalist? Like, which one? There is a difference. Like, there is mm-hmm. there is a standard, right? And to me, you know. Uh, writing a headline that says like come dumpster from Lynn does it. You know what I mean? It's like, you got to understand that when you, when you report like that, and when you operate like that, you're probably going to take a lot of shit. And you're also probably going to get a lot of people who don't take you seriously. And you're going to get a lot of people that fucking hate your guts and will never forgive you for the way you treated them. And so it's like, it's, uh, he's got to expect all this and he's not dumb. He's not a dumb person. Like he knows all this stuff is possible and happening. Yeah. That was one of my questions. Is he is yeah. like is he self aware or not? Because I, I I don't know it. No, I'm my biggest worried, fear, but... my biggest fear, not biggest fear. That's dramatic. I don't know why I word it like that. My thing with him right yeah. now is, I think when April came about and he started publishing for the first time, I think he really did get information, feel like this thing was very questionable, and I think he yeah. believed it all the way along that. You know, this is looking like there's a real possibility she's innocent in all this, and he keeps going and he keeps going. And then he's like, now it's I 100% believe she's innocent. My fear with him, I said it again. My my interest right now is like, has it gone to a point where now he's gotten information that he might know to be harmful to her, but the story's so big and he's benefited from it immensely that he can't turn back now, and that's yeah. what. Some of these things, again, that's why we say go to trial and hear this shit out. That's why some of the stuff we heard in his hearing the other day, it's it's alarming. Like, potentially, like I said, I don't know if this is a lie, but like potentially receiving payments from Karen Reed's brother yeah. via, you know, Alexis, because he, you know, he's a manager or gen- whatever at a Lexus dealership and Turtle Boy might have got Alexis from him. It's like, if you're doing crap like that, that's where it's it's it makes you a little nervous that, okay, Maybe he does believe it, but also the money's really good, you know, yeah. and, and right now you're trying to grow a channel and you're trying to monetize it. He's been on his own. He's been fighting censorship. He's been fighting all this stuff, trying to monetize and provide for himself and his family along the way. He all of a sudden has this monster story. He's got to monetize it somehow. And mm-hmm. are t-shirt sales enough? Probably not, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, Karen Reed had no fucking 
she had no shot in hell before he came along from beating this. She just didn't. Like there was no, in my opinion, I don't think any okay, any journal. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think any journalist was going to come along and do anything that rivals what Turtle Boy has done, right? Unless mm-hmm. unless the trial somehow built up random momentum, like when it just happened. Like, and it let's say it played out where it was this March, and Turtle Boy never came along with it, but it just like blew up in the courtroom like maybe she stands a chance, but still like you can't deny his impact on the case and his impact for her directly. If I'm him, right. And now like I do freelance production for people, for a lot of different financial clients and mortgage clients, I have to figure out how to get new clients to provide for my family and pay my mortgage. If you're him and you're battling every month and now all of a sudden you got this big story and you're raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for the person you're reporting the story on i have to imagine your brain's kind of like well fuck like i'm getting all my people over to to her and her to pay her lawyers like how do i make money on that do you know what i mean yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like i would imagine you'd think the same thing like it's a struggle to monetize uh content on, content on the internet her defense fund is up to like two hundred eighty thousand dollars or something like that yeah. How how much is raised without Turtle Boy? Yeah. No, like, do you know what? It, hey, I, I know I know people say you talk shit, but I think you speak in sense here. Yeah, I'm joking, by the way, when I say that. But I, you've said a lot of stuff here that actually you, put, you shut me up a little bit here because <laughs> uh, there's a lot. But this is where me, you know him. I was in, I'm not saying you're best friends, but you yeah. know him. So you can bring another side to this. There's a lot of stuff that you just said there that I did. I thought that he's maybe more successful than he was before. Uh, Harry. Yeah, I'm not saying he's not successful. No. I just it's still like it's still eat what you kill type of world, and yes, he's yes. he's demonetized. I mean, I, my biggest thing with him, like, it's one thing for YouTube to demonetize you when I think like Venmo, like a payment processor, demonetized him once, and I was like, no holy, way. holy shit! Like now you're you're getting into some weird stuff and and I'm not super I'm not a super political guy either way I'm the no. same way I'm right hopefully right down the middle and I don't care either way typically but like when shit like that happens it's it, that's madness to me like a payment yeah. processor we're not talking about not being able to post TikToks anymore we're talking about being able to accept money to pay your bills like that's wild that's just that's yeah, just yeah, cra- yeah. crazy talk so but I do I do think he's successful my point is just that like you know it, if you know that you are, let's call it worst case scenario, I'd say 75% of the reason why she's raising money to pay yeah, yeah. to pay Kevin Spacey's fucking lawyer, uh, I would assume that my brain would be like, okay, I need to get a piece of that action. Yeah, however, yeah, yeah. however, I would love to think in that same opportunity, A, I'm not going to them being like, I want 40% of everything you're raising. Yeah, unless yeah. unless it's like unless a that's legal i don't know it doesn't feel right i know that no, no. b i would never take uh money probably from the family member of a subject via you know trade deal with car or whatever i don't fucking know so uh, again i guess it's the same it's the same thing like as long as he's doing stuff that's fine and then owning it and putting it out there with it like i feel like you and i are coming on i think you'd be open right now if you get thousands of views, you're only monetized by uh, YouTube paying you because ads ran in it. I yeah. feel like other people that are doing exactly what you and I are here doing right now are are claiming that they're raising money for Karen Reed, which is the joke I made when we started this thing. But it's like a 50-50 fucking split. So if I'm raising, like, I don't donate to charities if I don't know that 95% of the money that I'm giving is going to the fucking yeah. charity. I understand some of it might have to pay their bills and, you know, there's a marketing person and somebody behind the scenes, but like for some, I've heard some of these people are doing like 50, 50 splits on raising money for Karen Reed on live streams. I'm like, that ain't it. Like, I, I don't know about you, but like, that's, that, that's not how I would do it. I think that's fucked up. Actually. <laughs> I think it's like, really, oh, yeah. fucked. I think it's really fucked up actually, but I don't know. Maybe I'm yeah. wrong. Maybe, maybe somebody can convince me I'm wrong on that, but. No, you can't, I, I've not heard of that. Do you know what I mean? In the sense yeah. of, of that, but uh, I mean, that's that you get make. I would be lucky to make 20 cents for my revenue on this video, right? And that's not slight. That's, and, I, yeah, and, that's you're, and you're giving me 50 cents of that, please. Thank you. Yeah, it, 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 50% of it, so 10 cents, yeah. Um, but actually, this we've both sworn so many times, actually, 
this video is deeper than the Titanic. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, it makes yeah. no difference. <laughs> you know I mean? No, no, sorry, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but if people are doing that, 50-50 splits and stuff, that's disgusting. I mean, yeah. you just don't do that. I, I would like to think that my viewers know that I do give back to charity um, and we do raise money. 100% of that money will always go oh, I'm to just, charity. Uh, yeah, and I'm just talking about like the weirdness of this case. I'm sure I, it yeah, happens. Yeah. I'm sure it happens with other cases too, but I don't know. It's just, there's just some weird, quirky... That's wrong quirky things and and the other thing and i'll i'll say this and and part of it maybe is like a defense mechanism for me because i'm in this weird i said i'm in this middle ground Uh, i'll go back to i'll go back to this situation right so i found out that there was uh, a bolo out for turtle boy on christmas eve so i was the one who tweeted i had two sources text me on christmas eve I tweeted something weird is happening with Turtle Boy right now. That's all I tweeted because that's yeah. my like that's my personality of doing things. Like I don't work for Kirk Minahan Show anymore. I don't work for a news organization. I'm just myself fucking around. But I also kind of understand that I used to do that. So if I do tweet something, I have to I have to own whatever I'm doing. Let's put it that way. Like I have to yeah. if I'm going to tweet out news, I I have to either stand by it. Or tell you exactly why I'm not standing by it is kind of like how yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I and when I say standing by like standing by my actions, not necessarily standing well, by uh, the word. Let me just cut you off there for yeah. a second. Just say I, I don't mean to, but when well, you tweeted that, I remember it. I hundred percent believed you that something's going on. So yeah. I was like, right, notifications on, right. Dave got it. So I was really refreshed, refreshed. So which when you is say that, which to be honest, I hate that in a way because I'm like, you took that as me like ready to be a newsman and yeah, and i wasn't ready to be a newsman or i didn't want to be a newsman right i just wanted to say like yeah hey, i just got two people that are fucking telling me that turtle boy might be arrested any moment so i'm just gonna put that out there just gonna let it be and see what happens because i'm not monetizing any aspect of this i don't expect anything when i tweeted that i got a minimum of four more people who said yes like this is happening so that's when i tweeted okay there is uh, a bolo out for like that's where I was specific. Like there was a domestic incident in Medfield. They are looking for Turtle Boy right now. That's so yeah. case closed. So three hours went by, and like I said, I I tweeted it, but I don't deem myself a news person. So if all of a sudden yeah. like I wake up tomorrow and I want to delete Twitter because I fucking hate Elon Musk, I believe I have that right. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah. And so uh, to the what we've talked about, I've known Turtle Boy for years. Uh, I've collaborated with him on stuff. I've talked to him behind the scenes about this case. I've talked to him behind the scenes about other cases. One of his people must have notified him that I tweeted that. And that broad <laughs> part of my well, what that person came at me. Like she came at me in the messages and I'm just like being a wise ass back to her. About an hour and a half after that, I get a call from Turtle Boy. And you could kind of tell, I think... My gut tells me I was the reason why he found out that the police were looking for him. I don't think he knew before someone told him I tweeted that. And you could kind of hear like the panic and and nervousness in his voice. And he asked me to delete it. And I owned it on Twitter. Like I deleted it. I told everybody replied like, yes, I deleted it. Sorry, I'm not a newsman. He asked me to do it. So I deleted it. That's yeah. that, like that to me is that that I understand that some people don't like that. But like I was being honest that like he asked me to do it and I'm out like and that's and that is what it is. Now I can understand that rubs people the wrong way, but whatever. I don't. I just I don't I don't I don't care. I guess yeah. I just to me what I was tweeting was a fact. I knew it as truth because I had an actual like document that said it, and so it was coming out whether I tweeted it or not. So I was like, fine, I'll fucking delete it. People know it by now, and it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen any moment anyway, and so. Actually, it took Ted Daniel, I think, like another 24 hours to get it Whoa. out there. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he reported it for 24 hours. Um, but when I talked to Turtle Boy, like he told me, like, I'm going to turn myself in. So I'm, I was like, all right, you know, like, I'll delete it. I even told him, I'm like, I actually think deleting it is going to make this worse. I don't, I, don't, I don't care if it's worse on me, but I'm just like, people are going to start talking about it more because they're going to be like, where'd that go? Is Dave fake news? Now, all of a sudden, like all this stuff. But I, I don't know. Either way, I didn't care. I didn't care to like be first i just wanted to like tweet out what was happening in my brain and people text me or whatever and so i did that and then that that plays itself out and i don't know where i'm going after that but i just mean you know that's that's how then it started into the turtle boy hearing with the uh he was arrested then and uh you know we had the hearing last week where it was just absolute 
madness, which we can get into if you want. But yeah, I, I mean, well, we we can get a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, so for me, when when you tweeted it though, I wasn't. I don't look at you as a news person. Yeah, just to clarify that. But I do look at you as reputable. I don't think you tweet something out like that. That uh, you don't make shit up is what I'm trying to say. Um, it, it, if I'm if that, I'm being sarcastic or joking, I think most people could tell it. You know, what I mean? like definitely. I think so. Now, on the flip side, to play, I guess, devil's advocate. If I still worked for Kirk, I would yeah. have texted Kirk what the source told me yeah. and said, "Can you like do we tweet this from the show account? Do you want me to do this? Do you not like?" And then we'd figure it out. I wouldn't have if if he asked me to delete it and I worked for somebody, I wouldn't have deleted it. That's different, yeah. That's a completely That's different. different situation. Like, I'm not in the news business. I'm not in any of that stuff. So that was my viewpoint on it, whether people agree or not. It, it is what it is. I don't I don't think I'm oh, a source in this now. case. Yeah. yeah. No, who cares now? It, it's done now anyway. But and also, I'd rather be on Turtle Boy's bad side than on Kirk's bad side. So, but, <laughs> Well, both are, both, are, both are fun. I don't think, like, when I tweeted that, uh, Turtle Boy wasn't mad at me for tweeting. Like, Turtle Boy would have done... This exact same fucking thing. All yeah. these people who are like calling me twats because I'm calling me a twat because I'm now like kind of making fun of the Turtle Boy situation. If I was on a fuck, if I was in a courtroom telling people that I got a fucking Lexus from a you know a person's family that I was doing a story on, Turtle Boy would fucking bludgeon me. Like yeah, we don't have yeah. that relationship. And by the way, I would expect him to, right? So I'm just like with all this stuff because people. I got a tweet yesterday or whatever being like, oh, he's such a tough guy. Turtle Boy's in jail. Turtle Boy doesn't give a fuck if somebody's being serious or joking about his situation online. Like his situation is what he's fo he's focused on himself and reporting a story. He doesn't give a fuck. I mean, he's he's getting too much reaction to give a fuck about one person fucking around. He's, from his he's enjoying it. He's enjoying it. And that's why I think that's why I think I'm quite open about my feelings towards it, because who gives a shit what I think? Right. Mean, he's 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 not going to give it two seconds, right? Because if anything, I'm just fueling it. By, yeah. By giving well, it it's and it's tough to keep up with his shit. Like, yeah. I, like I said before, as long as he's doing everything legally, I have no problem with it. But then you see. That, yeah. And I know it's his enemies, right? Everybody wants to get in this bubble, but like she put together a video of where examples of his like quote unquote witness intimidation. Which again, I'm not a lawyer or a police officer or anything like that. I don't know the strict definition of what's intimidation and what isn't. But watching it, I cringed. Like, and it, and I know some of it's out of context, but it's still, I do know that he's focused like 90 minutes, two or three times a week on this specific thing, on these specific people. You know, like with Kirk's show, we would have people that we would cover like consistently. But it'd be like five, ten minutes over the course. You know what I mean? This is like this one story he's been dialed in on pretty much since April 2023. I can see the argument of like this is intimidating the people involved. I can assume that there's some danger of what he's doing. And when you see it as this big compilation, I'd even think people that are on his side in the story can would look at that and be like, Man, that was aggressive. Like when you watch it in its totality, yeah. right? Maybe yeah. maybe when you're watching week to week and it's like a 90 minute live stream, you don't pick up on it. But when you see the highlight reel, you're kind of like, wow, that is this is fucking aggressive, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, I put my hands up. I've, I, I've got all, have all my thoughts from um, basically not just social media, but newspapers, stuff like that, outlining exactly what happened, court documents and stuff like that. And I just think, yeah. well, that's crazy. But I'm, I didn't finish what I was saying about Tillboy. I think he's a whack job, but I'm saying, same as you. Uh, I don't think he's done anything criminally uh, wrong. As in, I said that's based before this current hearing, which we're going to now. The only thing that I think that he's maybe done cr criminally incorrect is uh, liaising with that... Um, uh, her family and stuff like that. I don't even think that's no um, criminally. Yeah, criminal because I think that's borderline. I, I I think it's a gray area. I don't. Gen, I, I give him the benefit of the doubt when I went through all that and said I'll give him the benefit of the doubt that that's not. He's he's not. He's right there. Yeah, he, he's right on the tightrope, but I don't think he's overstepped it. Right again, ethically, would never do it. I think he's a piece of shit for doing it. But he hasn't done anything criminally wrong, except yep. for the dispatcher where she she got um, like the uh, number plates and stuff like that. Yep. 
I, I think he did wrong there. I think people say she was the one in the wrong. Yes, she was. Oh, definitely. But he was also the one in the wrong, you know, because he was getting it from her. He didn't want you to do it, asking for and stuff like that. So that's the only thing I believe that he's done wrong so far. But then we come into the hearing, and obviously, what's the guy's name? Grant Smith Ellis, is it? Yes. That's yeah, who yeah. I was following. Yeah. I, I, I will say to you about Grant Smith Ellis. Is, <laughs> I don't know. He was treated, but I mean, the, the way he quite, put his opinion into it, yeah. Yes, you'd have to ignore a lot of that. Do you know what I mean? As in, yep. he was very much a. This is what happened. This is what I think it means. It's like, right. okay, stop with what you think it means. Just tell us what actually but happened. But I didn't. Uh, on the flip side, back to like, I didn't know who he was reporting for. Like, I didn't know. I know he says he's a journalist, so I guess we do have to like stand. But that the boundary wasn't defined with that guy. You know. I didn't care, and, anyway. and, no, yeah, and like you're an adult, I'm an adult. Like I can read that tweet and say, okay, like this looks like it's his news portion, and now this looks like he's editorializing, and that's why, like, yeah. I was, I was quote tweeting some of it, being like, wow, like Grant, you're fucking, you're fucking weird for saying that, but I, I don't necessarily have a problem. <laughs> like it's, I, it's wild. I have yeah. no issue with it. Yeah. Uh, as I say, I just, I just went through the bullshit. I just ignored it. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. interpreted it the way I want to interpret it. I think okay, I, I was just glad that he, he did it. Um, but unless, yeah, what, what... unless, unless, and by the way, like you're in a courtroom and you're the only person tweeting the news, really, and you're trying to go as fast as humanly possible. First things first, I suspect that there's no fucking shot in hell he can keep us all updated on everything that's happening in that courtroom. That's one. So I assume going into it that he's going to miss information. The question is, like, did he modify information to make it sound worse for Turtle Boy? I don't believe he did. I believe he gave the facts and then editorialized after. Um, but he may, I saw some tweets and I didn't really pick up on it. And I was actually, it's funny with this case. You, maybe you're the same way. Actually, you are trying to monetize your channel. So you could be different. I sometimes like, I'm so into it. And I realize like, I, I shouldn't be doing the things that I want to do because there's nothing in it for me. And there's no real reason except for like my own entertainment. But I wanted to get the court transcript to, you know, see exactly like what's, what did she yeah. say? Did she now I've seen people say that um she lied and she lied, the victim lied on the stand and went against what was in her affidavit. It was like, well, I don't fucking know that. Like I, yeah. I, I only heard from Grant Smith Ellis about what happened on the stand. So until I see the transcript and correspond that with her affidavit, I can't, you know what I mean? I can't really tell. So yeah. I guess that's the, that's the only side of that situation that I'm a little bit weary of is just yeah. kind of if you hate Turtle Boy that much and you're more than right to do so, whether you're a journalist or not, did you leave out information we should have known? And some people are saying that he did, and some people aren't, you know, some yeah. people... This matter. is why I said my opinion on Turtle Boys based pre this trial, um, yeah. this hearing, because I can't make any judgments on this hearing, um, because it, you just articulated it so well. That's the whole reason. People ask me, yeah, but this happened in the hearing. Yeah, but we've not seen it. Did, I don't, did you to me, can I, uh, listen, I'm not a legal expert. I'm not a true crime expert. I'm not a police officer. I'm not nothing. I don't understand why any of this shit fucking happened. Like, I legitimately don't understand why I know about a Netflix documentary, why I know about a fucking <laughs> Lexus. I, I thought he's going to enter a courtroom and they're going to say, okay, your restraining order has been extended for a year. And he's going to yeah. walk out of there saying, Yippee, because he yeah. doesn't want to fucking see this person ever again anyway. So why does yeah. it fucking matter? I, I I have no like why why push and I'm sure I'm totally wrong on this and it's like outside of yeah. my brain, but I like I thought they would just take it and and move on. Why do we have to prove like what's what's the outcome? This is just about a restraining order. I, I, do you get what I'm saying? Like was this part I do. is this part I do. of his witness intimidation case at the same time so he feels like he has to defend it in that moment i, I to I me think, i yeah. wouldn't have done that i would have taken the rest- no. i just would have like signed the fucking paper and walk out you know that's he even tweeted that he tweeted that yesterday in one of his things he was like uh yes the um the restraining order was extended for a year and i'm happy about that or however i worded it okay so why didn't you fucking tell the lawyer yeah. that yeah just let them do whatever they want like, yeah. why are we getting on the stand and doing all that madness? I, I thought it was strategy of some sort because I thought, again, I just thought it was clicks. As in, why did this? I don't think anything good came out of him 
speed on that uh, stands really um because he, he admitted to revenge porn and as you said the payments and stuff yeah um yep. for i was like why you maybe he wants to come across look i've got nothing to hide i'm always truthful i got look this makes me look like a proper dick no issues this is the truth i always tell the truth and that's yeah. how i took it that's how i took well, it. well and i guess maybe i guess maybe he's gonna have to she was a witness right yeah. <laughs> excuse me she was a witness which is a whole different thing of we can just talk about he knew she was a witness and she went over there and he's gonna say he was coerced and yeah. fine but also if he knows she's a witness and he goes over there he's going to jail so it's yeah. he's smart enough to know that so he took that chance i think that chance is partially ego based it's like okay i'm gonna go over there and she's not gonna do anything about it like she's not gonna call anybody she's not so it's like and he so even if he was coerced like he knows he knew he was getting in the situation that he was getting in i guess is my yeah. point so he knew he was gonna go to jail for that or, or there was a big yeah. risk of him going to jail for that. Yeah. Maybe he just used that opportunity to start the process of fighting back against people who say he's intimidating people. So that's going to play itself out in his case eventually. And he yeah. just wanted to start that process during the restraining order hearing, maybe. Or th- like somebody might tell me there's a, a legal aspect to this, and I'm completely uh, I mean, off. Sure, I'm sure there is. But yeah. I'm the same as you. I don't see well, you just take it, you know. Yep. But. It, it, listen, the more I'm learning from you about him is that he's actually not as clueless as what. Uh, no, I no, he's a, he's a smart guy, like very like well read and everything like that, and he knows what he's yeah. doing. That's all. And like I said, so, my only my only pushback now is you know there's text messages that I've seen and there's things being said that I've seen on social media, so I'm not like. Not going out there and blogging about it and like getting a tattoo about it because I'm so upset or anything, but like it makes it seem like he's aware of some things. If these things get proven out, he's aware of some questionable things on the Karen Reed side. And if he's aware of it and convinced that maybe she actually did do this, drunk or not, the turtle boy I thought reported would be like, okay, fuck you. I'm reporting that you did that. Well, you know what I mean? Like I thought he would stop yeah. on a dime. If it turns out that the money is like factoring in and the notoriety of it is factoring in that kind of, I'm just questioning all of that. That's all. It's, and it's yeah, not, a big, either way, it, it's not a big deal anyway. Like it's just, it's, no. you know, it's just something I'm thinking about. That's all. Yeah. I, I, the only reason I mentioned it there, because I now what I'm speaking to you is I thought there's some sort of strategy um, around him to it. Cause I just found it all weird. The whole, yeah. Case I gen- I I'm the same boat as you. I'm not. I'm sure a lawyer will say blah blah blah. Who gives a fuck? At the end of the day, if he doesn't want to say anything, he doesn't say anything. And I think he, I'm the same as you. I wouldn't say anything uh, in that position. I'll take it. Get me out of jail, and then let's just get on with life. Do you know right. What I mean? Get get on with the case as well. Do you know right. Because I mean? he can still blog. He can still do everything he wants to. So why admit to all these things? Which, quite frankly, some of it is fucking quite embarrassing. Yeah. Do you know yeah. I mean? So. Um, yeah, I hate that. Bus- I hate that. I hate that revenge porn shit. Uh, like I, it's, yeah, I, I didn't like that. I hate that. I, and I, you know, and I, he admitted to it. It's clearly a strategy of his. I, yes. I don't know why I made a video. It, it, like I'm being kind of sarcastic, but not. But like, do you have to sleep with like the fans of your program? Like it's in, and then turn them into like characters and enemies yeah. and. Like with Kirk show, there were characters and enemies, but like people weren't like fucking each other and then talked about on the show. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just like, uh, it's just no. like, there's like four women that were in his like content sphere that feel like have come up the last couple of days. Leah Jinduso being one of them. Like she has to be smiling. If you know the background of her, she's got to be smiling behind the scenes that this is happening because, you know, allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, like he's releasing you know, porn of her under fake parody accounts. This is, you know, and yeah. maybe yeah, it's just fucked up. I don't know. This is weird. I, I don't mate, honestly, I, I genuinely right. I know nothing about this guy except for what I started off thinking um uh, was recommended to watch his stuff about Canary. I because I tweeted out before the summer this Canary stuff, where do I go? Who do I, and everyone said to the boy. Yeah. I watched a little bit of his content, enjoyed it, liked what he was doing. And then it just became this mass hysteria of everything yeah. going on. I was like, "What the? This guy." But it's, but it's good. Like, but it's good yeah. because I don't, I don't think court TV 
Not that that's like the end all be all, but like, I don't think they're covering it at this point. I mean, the local no. news in Boston was not covering it. Part of like my interest in it, not only was that person on the previous story told me about it, but like my dad came home once and was like, hey, we were all talking about this situation. And he came home from like his fishing game club. And he was like, oh, everyone this morning was talking about this story out of Canton, how like fucked up this is with the police and stuff like that. Do you know anything about it? And that's where I realized like it's, you know, there's a lot of chatter going on about it. But when you Google her name, there's nobody locally talking about it. Like the fact, if I were a local news station, I would have tried to pick up on it the exact same way Turtle Boy did it. I just wouldn't go about it the same way he did it. But yeah, I would have yeah, wanted, yeah, I would have reported if I was a local journalist that like, I heard that one of the witnesses in this case ripped up his floors and sold his home and his his dog has been, ta- you know what I mean? Like rehomed the dog. Yeah. It's like, why would you not be reporting that if you're one of the local news reporters? It's madness. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I, I'm like the way you would in it because as I say, I think that sometimes people think that I word things bloodily and wrong. The way you describe it is actually how I feel. Um, but it, you articulate it much better than I have. Because when I come out and say he's a whack job and stuff like that, people think I hate him. No, I, I hate his ethics and the way he's done it. Yep. I don't hate what what he's trying to get is get out there. Yeah, there's some things to question, but actually, I, I enjoy his content. So he just took it to another level that I yep. don't enjoy. But as you said, no one else is covering it. So yeah. congrats to him for that. Um, I didn't, I mean, I don't, I don't remember it from college. Like, I, I don't remember the journalism handbook, you know, but no, like, no, no. I do feel like he doesn't satisfy it. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. he, he would say that now he's also the type of person. And I think this should be it. Like sometimes you go against the grain to get to the greater good. And that's what I kind of thought was happening here, whether he was true or not, he was going about his way of something he believed in to like kind of figure it all out. It, it's kind of, it's kind of similar. And I give shit to the investigators in this case. I give shit to the one I was working on before, which was Sandra Birchmore. They find out like they're told something and they work their way backwards to get to that point. Kirk used to say yeah. that all the time too. Right. So it's like in this case, take like the medical examiner and I'm not a fucking doctor or a medical examiner myself, but like if she's told or he's told, that he was hit by a car and laying on the front lawn of somebody's house. Like he's hit by a car and then we found him on the front lawn. The medical examiner takes that information and works its way to that. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I'm wording that bad, but you like get to that, you get to that point as opposed to like, Hey, here's a dead guy. Tell us what happened or tell us how you think he died. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's how it should have been. Like, Here's the body. Now you do something about it as opposed to here's the body I found that was just hit by a car so that now that medical examiner can get to the point of saying, yeah, you're right. He was hit by a car, you know, instead of something else, you know? Yeah. No, I got you. I got you. Uh, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Because uh, oh, you said something I was going to ask you about, but now I forgot. Oh, uh, b- before I go back to that, uh, going back, you say about lots of people not um press and stuff because the, the other side of all this and then i this is where i give to boy he is in there i eat whatever you got the other side of twitter then or x jennifer coffin daffer xfbi yep. agent she's a complete opposite so when i criticize turtle boy i think she puts a lot of misinformation up there um from what i gather anyway do you know what i mean so you got two sides yep. there that like if you don't like what turtle boy is doing you can't say that you like what coffin dappers doing because she's doing it the same way but in a different different way totally so, agree yep totally yeah. agree i i was watching um i was watching her most <clears throat> and i've given her some i think i've tweeted at her like given her a little bit of shit but i was watching her most recent court tv appearance and i was watching her and there was two other guests that were on the screen and she was reporting facts during this uh interview like she was saying there was a leak in the home. Like she was just narrowed in on facts as opposed to the other two guests who were analyzing facts that they were told by the host. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, so she's trying to be a journalist or an activist instead of an analyst. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It yeah. just came, it just came off very strange to me. So yes, I totally agree with you. Like she's not doing anything different than turtle boys doing. 
Like it's, you know, but I don't understand why they're going like so deep. Like why she's like, oh, that is not a dog bite. And it's like, well, you're not a fucking medical examiner and you're not a fucking veterinarian. And you're not, you know, like, why isn't she saying like, I was told by a source told me that they believe that wasn't a, you know what I'm saying? Like, why isn't it that as opposed to, as opposed to, no, it wasn't this or it wasn't that. That's yeah. But I agree with you. She's, she's totally strange to me as well. And we got it's, it's Frankie, and so Frankie and me do a stream tomorrow about we're going to go through some of the documents. She says I actually like Jennifer Coffin that way. I mean that's fine. I mean it's the same thing. Lots of people yeah. like Little Boy. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I, I like to treat everyone the same. So I'm calling out Little Boy for the way he's doing it, and the same way I call out Coffin that for the way she's doing it and saying right. stuff. Just be truthful. That's all. And. Yeah, so... Um, there's no... I mean, there's... Yeah, yes, truthful in terms of the people <coughs> who are covering or analyzing the case. A hundred percent. Because it is it is insane what feels like it's happening within the investigation. Because if we go back to the, the actual story of Karen Reed, it's like, one thing cannot be argued, in my opinion, is that the police investigating work in this case was fucking horrific. And knowing that some of the same players in the same office was involved in a very similar case and that police work seemed to be fucking horrific. Now we have a pattern. It seems to be when there are, you know, law enforcement officials involved in crimes, whether they're victims or whatever, they fuck shit up, (laughs) you know? And, and so that needs to be called out. That needs people, whether you and I like Jennifer Coffin down or not, like, some people just need to take chances to call out some of that shit. And Turtle Boy is another example of that. Like, Turtle Boy's taking liberties, but guess what? Like, if you're going to tell me that, like, a fucking taillight wasn't found, that a piece of a taillight wasn't found that night, it was found three days later by, like, a police chief just randomly driving by, like, yeah, I'm going to call you fucking suspect. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, like, it's just, yeah, yeah. if you're going to change police reports from a Canton police report that, has a picture of from the day of the incident from the crime scene. Basically that's the picture on the report. And months later, the picture is chained to a picture that was bun- done by the Massachusetts state police. And it includes a taillight. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, we'll about, yeah. So I don't know how deep it is. It sounds like it's deep. Like if it, if it, she's proven not guilty, it sounds like it's deep corruption, but I, you just don't know until we get to that courtroom, I guess. No, but, and that's fair, and that's fair. And I think, you know, this stream is taking a different direction than I thought it was. And, it, and by that, I mean in a good way, not a bad way either. Um, um, so I keep parking, Harry, because I'm still intrigued with some of the stuff that you got. You all bring insight from, and I can't say it, Massachusetts. I can't say it, but the Boston area anyway. So um, you're bringing a lot of backstories that I know nothing about. Do you know what I mean? So I'm more interested in that at the minute. And because we can park the car and read one uh, yep. for a little bit. Um, so, you know, uh, like obviously, when we say um, we hate, um, I hate the way he does this, there are actually people out there that they absolutely despise the, the boy. Yeah. They, on X, they're all muscle mafia, whatever she's called on Twitter. They go back and forward. Apparently, she's got a restraining order. Uh, he's it's ready. a fucking circus. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's, 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 real life WWE like reality television show like she used to work for him then now they hate each other and it, it, it's I don't know it's madness and that's why you have to unfortunately like that's why you have the two sides and that's why hopefully somehow you can look at the information and analyze it that like all right is this a person just fucking around or even if she is yeah. fucking around like is she telling the truth when she fucks around you know like that's that side of it matters too so yeah, I, I don't know. It's just wild. I don't know. I, w- I yeah. wish it was more. I wish it was a little bit more buttoned up, and it was just like, here's one guy. He's reporting information he's getting, and then the other side. I don't know. It's just a clusterfuck. What, what is there? Like, is there more of a backstory on that one with uh, whatever her name is? People have told me her name, but I don't really know. I don't it. know it that well. Like, I don't know why. Right. I know. I know they worked together. She helped him on the blog or something. I don't know why that. Um, eroded basically, but I do know that she clearly has a vendetta. Yeah, but like, is her vendetta is she doing anything you know unlawful with the vendetta? Like, I have people I hate, 
You know, like I have people that I Google every day to see if like they fucked up or something so I can tweet about it and make myself feel better. So yeah, as long yeah, as she's yeah. as long as she's not doing anything unlawful, if she hates the guy and she's pointing out things, it is it is what it is, you know? No, because she tweets a lot. I don't know what Eden was tweeting back there saying, Hey, I remember I brought a streaming order against you and stuff yeah. like that. So this is where it's getting what the hell is this about? Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um that side I don't I don't care about. I know it's a part of the story because like this ex-girlfriend might never come out unless she reached out to this girl, Kate Peters, who then put her in touch. It seems like with the um, state police investigators. So it's, yeah, she's a, she's certainly a part of the story, but it's, it, that's, that side of it is where it's tough to keep, keep up with for sure. Yeah, it is. And uh, Frankie says, keep away from Twitter. Drama all it, yeah. Yeah. But it, it's unfortunately this is all played out on Twitter a little bit. Um, Kate Peters, who the hell is Kate Peters? I hear the name a lot. Um, she, she, she uh, how is she involved in all this? Um, that's you know, yeah, I, I hear it and I don't know the reasoning, but I just know she's uh, so that she's, is Kate Peters, yeah, Shit, that's right. Kate Peters is the one who, like, a lot of Turtle Boys ex girlfriends have gone to Kate Peter to, to kind of right. just be like, yeah, he did to me what he did to her, and then Kate Peter, you know. She relishes in Turtle Boy's fuck ups, and to be honest, I know a lot of people hate her. Like, if you if you're a diehard Turtle Boy person, you probably hate that she's doing that. But like, you do the same thing on the other side to somebody that Turtle Boy reported on, right? Or to say, you know what I mean? Like, you want to yeah. see you want to see that person continually fuck up as well. So it's just you know, it, it's the same. It's what you said before. It's the same thing. Like, the same sides are doing the same things and getting mad about the same things. It's yeah. it's a strange scenario. No, I, I get frustrated on both sides. I, I, there's no one side or the other. I like obviously we speak about it's hard because we speak about Turtle Boy, and I'm calling him a whack job and stuff like that. He's not the only one in, in this. Yep. You know what I mean, he's a focal point in all this. And Frank is asking who's Turtle Boy. Turtle Boy's a journalist. He's I'll cover it more tomorrow with you, till, uh, Frankie. But he's integral here. He's now in, in jail. Um, he's part of. He's an advocate for Karen Reed and stuff like that. So even though I think he's a whack job. He's still doing the right things because he's advocating for someone that is presumed innocent, right? Uh, until proven guilty, so he's doing the right things. Just he's raised he's innocent. raised a shit ton of questions, and and I think rational people can take a step back and say, okay, is that a real question that deserves to be raised, or is that just Turtle Boy like trying to push an agenda? Which in this case, his agenda is that she's innocent. Rational people can diagnose that. And so I think oh, it's, yeah. you know, like we keep saying, it's as long as it's as long as it's legal, go to fucking town. Because there oh, is yeah. you use it like you just called him a journalist. I'm very like I'm not gonna call him a journalist and I know him. And that's not a shot at him. I just don't know. Like I, I just look at him like he's fucking an influencer. I look at him like he's Logan Paul. And yeah. he can do whatever the hell he wants. But yeah. I understand that because I look at him that way, he's like subject probably to different things uh mm -hmm. in court like his lawyer is referring to him as a journalist so he has to he has to abide by journalistic standards if i was his yeah. lawyer i don't think i would ever do that because i would just say like he's not a journalist so he can i think this can fuck around however we want yeah i think that's why i hold him to such high regard uh, i'll get into that now you see this on screen lady law 5791 6 30 a.m in central time do you see her there yes now this woman right she is called well, I call her the Gilf. So she's a grandmother. Yep. She's like 43 years old. Um, she's hot as fuck, man. <laughs> um, do you know what I mean? Uh, is, she, is, she's like, is she hot? Is she hot as fuck, or is that her her cover? No, for she, okay. no, she's hot as fuck. She's hot. Yeah. But unfortunately, she's just like my fucking big sister. She tells me off like a big sister. Yeah. Yep. So I could never. I could never. But any other guy, do you know what I mean? obviously, you can't have your married, but. She's a beautiful woman. Oh, she is. She's is he like a JLR investigator, whatever his name is? No, JLR investigator is fucking hundred times worse. Now, that's a piece of shit for you, JLR investigator. But like, he's similar, yes. But um, Stephen Will, don't know that is. Sheesh. Um, <laughs> Lady Lord, I don't think he even stops streaming. He's on twenty four seven. Erin Hack. Aaron that's, a good, that's, that's a compliment right there. Take that. Yeah. She's she's got her own little teddy. Call the taco, so I sometimes lick the taco. Uh, Harry's taco. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so right. What you just said there was important to me, right? 
yeah. because I call him a journalist. So that's why I think I I hold him to a higher um, degree yep. there. Because if he was coming out saying that um, he was just a blogger, I don't think I'd give a shit yep. what he was doing. But because they keep saying he's a journalist, integrity, blah, blah, honesty, I'm like, well, if he is, then he needs to be held to a, a different... You, I think you'd um, give a shit. I think at, at the end of the day, like, it's it's yeah. a, it's a human reaction to what another human's actions are, right? And so whether it's legal or not, like, I can... I can watch a video of him going up to one of the witnesses and yelling at, actually, you know, what's really stayed with me is uh, I think he referred to the, the parents of John O'Keefe who died uh, in this incident. I think he like called them assholes or something like that. And I was like, uh... I was like for all, and I understand like, he's also an entertainer. Right. And, and there's also an instinct to say like the parents don't believe the, the parents believe that Karen Reed killed their son. And he doesn't believe that Karen Reed did this. So anybody who is on that side, he thinks is an asshole. So there's almost like there's some authenticity to it (laughs) where it's like, I don't give a fuck if you're the parents or not. I'm going to call you an asshole because you're not fighting for the justice that I believe you should be fighting for. Again, like we go back to, it's just something that would never enter my brain to do. You know? Uh, we, we got Aaron here who says, being an asshole is not against law. So Aaron's just joined us. So Aaron doesn't know where we... Look, Aaron, we agree. Uh, myself and Dave both agree. Uh, he, he, it's not against the law. You're right. Uh, but at the same time, we're talking about him like absolute... Like, I don't like his the way he's doing stuff. Dave's quite similar. But... But the also- court... Like, we're going to learn this in court of what he did. Was it right yeah. or wrong? The witness intimidation case is going to move forward separately from the Karen Reed case. So we're going to learn that. The difference, like, in a sense, from the personal standpoint, like, in terms of uh, ramifications of his actions, he knew that his ex-girlfriend is a state witness, and she was a state witness because that's why they were meeting up. He never should have went there to interact with a state witness or else there's going to be a ramification, which in this case was 90 days in jail because he violated bail. That's like, yeah. that's just fact. Like it's just, he yeah. should not, he should not have gone there. I believe his, I believe his attorney advised against it. And he's saying he was lured there through fake pregnancies and this and that, whatever, like, we'll yeah. we'll learn that, but that'll all come out in the witness intimidation case. And we go, Eric say, I've been following TV for months. His tactics are rough, but not as low. So just because some people just joined us, just so you know, Dave is from that area. Dave knows Turtle Boy uh, well. Um, um, that they speak on the phone and stuff like that. So I think I think you give a uh, fair Turtle Boy. On. Turtle Boy disagreed, and this is where, like, I'll go back. We called him out on this factor. We did a case, same district attorney's office. Like I've said, Sandra Birchmore. Turtle Boy throughout that entire story, because he did some reporting on as well, did not believe with our synopsis. We believe that Sandra Birchmore was murdered. He believed that she committed suicide, which is what this office surmised and said and everything like that. Yeah. He he disagreed with us and we were like, okay, we can you just have a disagreement. It is what it is. As soon as this story came about, he called me wanting to learn more about Birchmore because now all of a sudden he believed because of their actions in the Karen Reed case, they could have fucked up the Sandra Birchmore case, you know? So it's like, it's, that's some of the stuff we, that's some of like the relationship that I had with him talking about shit, shit like that. He, he came around to kind of agree with us because they just seem to fuck up investigations to be completely honest with you. And every time it involves an officer, right? You know? No, that's fair. I, I, I wanted to point out that, you, you know, you have that relationship with it. But I think you've been very fair on both sides about it um, in terms of, you know, uh, as you as you said all along, dubious of some of his tactics, but he's done nothing criminally wrong. And the right. only thing I, I, and I've also said, I don't think he's done anything criminally wrong except for that one instance with the, uh, with the call dispatcher. I, I don't yep. agree with, I think that was criminal. So, um, but that's the only thing. Yep. But, yeah. Um, so and that's just because some people are just new here now just popped in. This, this is Dave. He, he is local, so he knows the vibe of it and everything. Um, he hears all, all about it in the area. Um, these, you know, you say you're in the bubble, like you know, 
uh, okay, Frankie doesn't know, but me and Frankie are covering the case tomorrow. But Erin Hack, she's from the, the Midwest, you know, uh, she's been following this case for months. Uh, Lady Law, she's from the uh, Texas, Oklahoma area, she's been covering from for uh, you know, she knows a little bit about it. So there's definitely interest out there. Um, oh, it's gonna, exp- we were talking about this before, it's gonna fucking explode. And I, I trust you because you were following those other cases that I weren't, that I wasn't. This is. It's like Canton is fucking like wild right now. Canton, Massachusetts, where this occurred, like they all and they're fucking 50 50 down the middle split. But like you can't go anywhere without, and that's not like me just trying to be dramatic about the case. It's the only thing people are talking about. Part of it is because this is a, a famous family where this occurred, the Alberts. Like there's, you know, and we're just having a conversation. We're not reporting news or anything like that. No. But like, a lot of people were fucking already scared of the Alberts because they thought they were assholes. I've heard a lot of things about that family through just being interested in being interested in this case. So I just think that when you feel the temperature in the town, by the time it actually gets into that serious mode of a courtroom and it has enough momentum now that it's going to it's going to erupt. I've heard people on live streams like act like it's a big story now. Because, like, basically the Twitter algorithm is feeding them the shit that they want to see, you know? So it's, but I don't even think it's, I don't even think it's remotely there yet. No, remotely. It's, it's building. It's building. And yeah. if you've got people like me covering it now, that means it's, it is building, Jeremy, you know, because yeah. I had to start covering it a couple of months out, you know, and we're a few months out. But uh, Aaron asks here, do you know Tom CPU and LTL as well? Online? So I know, I just know of them through this case. Tom CPU, I didn't know. Somebody tweeted out yesterday. I guess like Turtle Boy wrote, <laughs> he wrote like a, a blog about this guy calling him out for something. So he did one of his normal blogs. If you're not familiar with Turtle Boy, a lot of people hate Turtle Boy because he writes like little stories. Like he writes about like drug, like a drug crime. And he calls this, like he'll, the headline will be like fucking cum dumpster from Lynn sells drugs to here or whatever. And so like people are like, these are such minor little things or some like one of the subjects might not even go to jail over the thing. And it's like, why are you ruining the guy's future by writing this stuff? I don't really care either. I don't care either way, but supposedly he wrote something about that Tom CPU guy. And he, he must've like, they must've come back together somehow and been friends because Tom CPU is like the first guy live streaming outside the courtrooms. He's live streaming at home covering this case. So yeah, he, he clearly is on the free Karen Reed side. LTL is on the free Karen Reed side. There's really not a lot of actual bloggers or streamers that are helping out the prosecution in any way. <laughs> you yeah. know, the only one who was helping is really the local media who doesn't report on it. So I guess that helps the prosecution. But pretty much anybody who's producing content or uh, like trying to produce content like live streams and stuff like that is a free Karen Reed person. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we we come into this and we said at the start that my stance is innocent unless proven guilty on it and stuff like that. And, you know, as you said, we've got to base it on. The evidence in court, and that's why I like you because it's it's sensible. You can only do it um, on what you see in court. We yeah. can all battle about this dog marks, listen to coffee duffer, listen to till. But at the end of the day, we can only base it on what is in court. So right. we can go back and forth as much as we want about all this. My interest, as I say, this stream has not turned into what I, I, I thought. It was going to be. <laughs> I told I told you I was like I'm not I'm not a Brilliant. news guy. And I I can't remember all the stuff that go on with this story. So I love it. No, because this is, I thought we'd be done with Turtle Boy in like quarter of an hour, but we're still talking about it, um, which I love. I want to get this because I didn't know you had that, uh, you know him so well, if that makes sense. Because you see so many streamers think they know Turtle Boy and think, you know, they they don't know anything about it. They don't know his history, don't know what he used to be like, don't know what he's like as a person, don't know what, uh, you know, I'm not saying that you know his whole mindset, but it's intriguing to speak to someone that actually has met him and knows him, you know, um, I, think, I mean, like, I, I understand, like, if you, you have your opinion about Turtle Boy, and pretty much it's not changing at this point. Like, there aren't, there aren't new people. I, maybe a big story like this, he brought people into the story, and then that meant that, like, he built a loyal, that person has now an affinity for Turtle Boy, that maybe they'll follow him along the way when he's going back to reporting about, like, you know, the cum dumpster for win. But majority of people who already knew him, they're not they're not changing their opinion. There's either I fucking I will take a bullet for this guy or I want to see him six feet under. There's no in between with Turtle Boy. There's none. Yeah, no, that's fair. But I, I would say that you've changed your mind a little bit on him today. Um yeah, it, I, it, 
I would say that that you have changed my mind on him a little bit because I came in all guns blazing. He's a prick. Blah yeah. blah blah. But you giving me an extra dimension of actually. Oh, hang on. You've had conversations with him. You know him. I'm not I'm not saying that you know he's a good guy and he's the best right. guy in the world. Not at all. But he's just a person. He's never he's is, never been a pr- he's never been a prick to me. And if if you think he's a prick, like if somebody came out to me and it's like that guy's a fucking asshole. I hate him. I be, I, I wouldn't challenge them, even though he's never been an asshole to me because I understand where you're coming from. I get it. Like it's not it's not that big no. of a deal. He, He's doing the right thing, but the wrong way, in my opinion. Uh, but sometimes, but this is where you're conflicted, and this is where I go back to my personality, who is a roller coaster with any news story. Yeah. One of the things I just can't get out of my head, and I could talk to a hundred people, and they just haven't changed my mind on it, is from a police. I wouldn't. I don't know if this is entirely the police corruption side, but like the lead investigator of this case has a connection with the family involved with one of the witness families. And I understand that just because the lead investigator lives in the same town, and I understand that maybe he's not as close to the witnesses as his sister seems to be. I don't understand anybody's argument that he shouldn't have pulled himself away from this case. I'm not saying the entire like office should have removed themselves from investigating the case, though in a perfect world, like I feel like that should have happened. But maybe that's not possible, and I'm not a law enforcement guy, so I don't know this stuff. But like, this Proctor guy being the lead investigator with some of the shit I've seen is fucking one of the craziest things I think I could ever draw up. Like it's 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 nuts to me that they thought it was rational to allow him to investigate this case. And I just haven't you could you could come up with the most sane reason. That's where I become a sycophant of a certain angle. There's nothing you could say to me I think that would change my mind on that. I don't and I'm not saying I'm no, right. I'm not saying I'm no. right. I'm just saying I believe it and I can't get past it. I can't. It's mind boggling to me that anybody thinks, you know, in this situation, his sister is very close with the Alberts. Like the mother called them her second family. That's not a lie. When the attorney goes on, you know, goes in the courtroom and says that it, my mom or my sister have friends that maybe I'm not personally that close with, but I fucking know of them. And I, you know, I know my connection to them, so I would stop myself from getting involved in something like that. And that's without friggin' pictures of weddings and this and that. That's one thing that like sticks with me that I'll never, I, I don't think I'll ever change my mind about. No, I agree with you. I, you're well ahead of me on that one. But uh, no, what, why put yourself in that position? Just take, get off it. Do you know what I mean? You're always going to be known as biased now. So why yeah. put yourself in that position? I've referenced um, the story. I've referenced the story we were working on, right? One of the, um, one of the guys who was involved in our story had another incident that the district attorney's office was looking into and they would have been the people to investigate his case. They transferred it out because they knew him. This was a, I'm not saying it was, it was like super minor, but it was, minor in the grand scheme of things about what the investigation was about. This is a fucking monster. And the same office that transferred a minor incident to a new district attorney's office didn't transfer it here. Like it's to me, it just screams deliberate. We want to fucking, we want to mess with this one, but I don't know. It's just mind boggling to me. Uh, no, no, that's, that is, I'm not, I agree with you. And is, he, I didn't know this about Tula, but, but Tilly Boy used to back the blue hundred percent since yeah. May. Tilly Boy has evolved his opinion. Um, well, that's that um, is, and I apologize for keeping interrupting you. Turtle Boy does back them. I think he has he has said some things recently where he's like, "I don't I don't back the police anymore." If this can happen to me, which I think anybody would kind of say that, right? If they believe that they've been wronged by an institution that they've supported for so long, I think it's natural to be like, fuck, I don't trust anybody. I'm sure there's some good ones, but I don't trust anybody anymore. I still think, re- like, realistically, he trusts the police and he respects the police. He just doesn't respect these ones and the institution that's investigating, you know, in, in the office that's investigating him. That, that, that would be, I mean, I'm speaking on his behalf. That's, that's like my gut feeling in that situation because he's never, yeah. he's always, even through all the shit, even through the... um you know, the Black Lives Matter movement and all this stuff. Like, he always backed the police back then. And even the correctional officers, he always speaks well of them as well, uh, yep. the way he, they treat him and stuff like that. So he, he can see a, little, see a little bit of that, really. Yep. Um, I think this is interesting, right? Because Lady Law, 
uh, how beautiful Lady Law says, cases like this are what careers are made off of. It's messed up. And she means it in the sense of obviously the lead, uh, investigator. But I also think you touched upon this earlier on as well. Um, it's not just the lead investigator. I think there's people out there on YouTube that are making this their career. Like, oh, yeah. To the point, this is career. But there's other people, sub, like I think a lot of people use Still the Boy to make a career out of this as well. So yep. this is it going to be, yeah, I, I don't think it's just the investigator. I think this is. But it's a but it's a but it's a big story. Like if you if you deliberately believe he doesn't just believe that Karen Reed is innocent, he believes that there is an entire police corruption at play and the state is involved and he believes all these things. Like then go to town, like fight for it, you know, and you should expect that if you're gonna like fly that close to the sun, bad shit's gonna happen, right? And then but just keep working itself out and it is what it is. Maybe he ends up a martyr. Who knows? Who don't, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I know this is what Eric said. There are times I think TV's passion took him too far. Totally agree. Yep. But he did bring out a ton of info about this corruption, and I credit him for that. Yeah, I think David Finners has said all that, and I, that's why I, I'll, I'll admit, I've not given him any credit, if I'm being honest, um, on that, because he's still new to me. I only see the, like you mentioned this earlier on, and this is where Eric comes in. If you watch him week to week, this is nothing, do you know what I mean? For, you know, this is what he's like. But if you just see him for the first time and you see that he's like harassing people and stuff, like yeah. that, it's too much. Do you know what yep. I mean? So that's why I, I, I've never given him credit. The more I'm listening and stuff like that with you, I will give him credit. I still don't agree with what he does, but I will give him more credit about the fact that he has brought more attention to this. It's trial. also it's also like these are people who are just like normal people, they're probably not like crazy social media users like you and I, they're not content producers like you and I, like if, if I go out in a grocery store and somebody recognize me from the Kirk Minahan show and starts to give me shit, I'm prepared for that. These other individuals. And I probably, even if I was a fan of the show, I'm probably prepared for that. Cause I follow along on social media. I'm very active. I understand kind of the world in that way. These yeah. people, these people aren't necessarily probably. Maybe I'm just giving them like the benefit of the doubt in that situation. They're just not prepared for like somebody to show up and start giving them shit for the right or the wrong reasons, you know, for for anything. They're just not prepared. So it's got to be, if I'm being honest, it's got to be crazy overwhelming from their perspective. Now, you and I both could be like, if the, if this proves out that like, you know, Jennifer McCabe was a witness in this. Did she actually delete all these things? Did she uh, search this on Google and search that? And she covered this whole thing up? Well, sorry. Like, I, I'm happy as fuck that all of a sudden he intimidated the shit out of you if that's proven yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. is that there? Is the, like to we, what we said earlier, we never probably would have went about that way, but we'd probably give him credit after the fact if it's proven that way. So who, yeah. know, who knows? It, yeah, no, it just goes back to a bit of an ethical thing. You know, we're yeah. just not built like that. I'm sure to him, he'd call us whack jobs for going, but why would you go after them? Right. If you've got that belief, why wouldn't you? You should be. You're pussies for not going after them. You right. give them I'll, hey, you'd probably be right. <laughs> so Yeah, but uh, there is there is a difference. There is a difference between knocking on somebody's door saying, I have a couple questions for you and yeah, yeah. and then them saying, I don't want to talk. Maybe you ask one quick follow up to try to convince them and then them say no. And then you just walk away. There's a difference between that and then there's going on a live stream and saying, this is what happened. I called him a twat to his face. He, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's just, said. it's it's just crazy. It's just, yeah. But as I say, he's probably normal to him. And he, he probably just feels it differently. So, yeah, I mean, which is fine. Um, right. In terms of that, right. I'm going to put you on the spot here now, right? Yeah. Um, and I hope you don't mind putting on the spot. I've really enjoyed this with you, right? I don't want to go into the current read case with you right now. Because... There's just too much room for there. Oh, um, yeah. And I want to be more prepared, right? Um, also, I didn't realize we've taken up an hour and a half of your time already. Um, so I know you're not available next week, but whenever you're next available to come on, of course. are you willing yeah. to come back on? Of course. I would love that, mate, because I would. I want to delve more into the characters as well, um, not just the, the case as a whole. You said stuff about the Alberts and stuff like that. Yep. I know nothing about this. Yeah, so, if there's if there's people who are watching this and they don't and they're not familiar, you should put the the case that whole Google Drive file in the description 
because yeah. it's I put it here as well. yeah it's it's wild it's wild when you get into it and like i said i live 10 minutes down the road from where this all happened and and have met some i've met the district attorney and i like all it's just once you get into it you kind of can't escape it you know it's yeah. it's and i've heard people talk about it they're like fuck this this story specifically is like crazier than the Murdoch case or than the whatever and it's and when I'm here and I'm like looking at it on a daily basis sometimes you don't realize that you don't realize like how absurd it's going to be to just the casual person listening from California or something like that yeah. but it's yeah. it's a wild one so and, and Eric said do you hold up I have I mean I, I am looking at it um but I think it's unique when you've got someone like Dave that is there like I, I can read all the papers I want but and you can have an interpretation of people, whatever you want, but some of that, in, in all honesty, um, that is not biased in one way or the other because, you, as you say, it's like you just say your opinion. Yep. I want to know about the Albers, I want to know about the McCabe, I want to know about all these people. The only way I can truthfully learn about that is through people like Dave. So, um, so that's what I want to do. Thank you. And uh, I talk this one out with you all. What do you mean? I talk this one out with you all. I think she means she'll come on next time. Is that the hot grandma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I say she, it. To, she, I say she should come and join us. That's just my opinion, she, personally. She, hey, she can come anytime she wants. <laughs> yeah. She knows that. <laughs> yeah, she knows she can come on this channel. She's got a uh, free pass. She, she does actually come on uh, quite often, but she, she's got other streamers topping her up as well at the minute, bigger streamers than me. Where is that? Um, where is she located? Where is she? Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah, so but she's a lawyer, so um, gotcha. you, you know, so you, you got any? Uh, does she have any? Does she have any Disney World hacks for me by any chance? I'm going to Disney World on Sunday morning, and any hacks? Any? I haven't been there since I don't know a long time, but it's I need any advice I can get to survive this week. Uh yeah, Disney. I don't know anything about Disney unless he's Erin Hack probably knows something about everything. She's yeah. a nosy one. She is. She's a bit of a nosy bitch, but. Um, you see where you stay here. Thank you. I, so, you I was I was told we're, it's a poor person's move, which I actually agree with. It's a poor move. Uh, we got a house like ten minutes away, and it's the entire family. So it's like brothers, sisters. I'm the youngest of six. It's like a ten bedroom house, just because we're that big of a family. So, and I think we're only doing three. I think we're doing two or three parks. So it's, um, but it's just you have to like strategize this shit. It's just it's madness. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I think Erin probably has some tips for me because she <laughs> she 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 knows everything by everything. Yeah, uh, but we will do that. So I mean, I also Frank. It actually um, be good because I think um I think the next hearing, what is it? It's January. I think it's sometime next week. Might be the fifteenth. Yeah, Erin said something in chat on Monday or something. So I was like, yeah. okay, I don't know anything about that. So whenever you're back and you're free, uh, we'll jump on. Um, uh, Lady Law, you're more than welcome to join. Obviously, it's uh, we've done this for half five your time, um, but um, I'm actually suit to you, Lady Law, because normally she can't come on because of time differences. But yep. if we do it early, she might be able to come on. And obviously, me and Frankie are covering the case tomorrow as well, so um, uh, going through this as well. So yeah, I, I yeah, I just rather do that if you don't mind coming on. I mean, yeah. um, don't waste your time, but. Jenny, I'm not bullshitting you. If if I didn't enjoy this, I wouldn't invite you to have one and done. But Jenny, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm learning a lot more, and I want to read some more myself. I'm just get. I I like the um. You can we could all go through the paperwork as much as we want, whatever. But it's the personal touch of it, knowing people, what they like, what's the perception of them, yeah. how are they seen around town and stuff like that. That's why I enjoy because you, you you know. You seem to get like you seem to know them. Then that's how I feel, anyway. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've heard a uh, heard it like even just yesterday, I was speaking with somebody. Um, there's just all these like weird things with the homeowner, right? Like he sells his home. We'll get into it, obviously, in a couple weeks, or whatever. But yeah, 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 he yeah. sell he sells his home. He ripped up the floors, right? Basically, like after the incident, and claimed it was a leak. I was told it was a toilet leak yesterday. I never heard that it was a toilet leak until yesterday. Just like it could have been like a pipe leak or whatever. And I know that might seem like nothing, but like when he first listed it for sale, it obviously the floors weren't ripped up and stuff like. There's just like so many things like that, which is yeah. like which is why 
I get it. You read the court documents and you see how fucking drunk she probably was and you can't get out of your mind. She must have done it. But then you just see like, how does all, how do all these people not see a body? How is a dog just gone out of the blue? How did this happen with a car moving at that speed and there's no injuries to like his stomach or thing? It's just the arm yeah. uh, cuts and shit like that. You're just like, there's so many questions. And then to go to the 180, you're like, well, how could 25 people cover this up? You know, like at the end of the day, like how can how could 25 people work in unison to yeah. keep this lie going? And it, yeah. so it's it's you just getting that mental pretzel. So yeah, to all your subscribers, dive in and there's a lot there to like there's a lot there for your enjoyment. Like you will you'll be infatuated with this story. That's fine. Oh, so everyone, you could join us tomorrow. Me and Frankie just doing some deep diving and watching some videos and stuff. Um, I just say we have get Lady Law on here. Then it'd be a morning, morning one. They're all bros and they police. They know what to do. Uh, the little I've heard about this case has been sketchy as fuck. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And that's why. Yeah. So Lady Law, if you're happy to come on one morning with us, then um, then we'll do that. Um. I'd say I'll get you a date once I know if day, but he's free next to do that. It'd be an early stream. Um. I'm sure people are trying to talk to you now, but we're like, hey, Dave's hours now, so, you know, fuck off, everybody. Um, <laughs> that's how it normally works, you know, people are trying to pinch. Um, yeah, so, no, I appreciate that, man. And just so you know, I looked it up. Give Senko as well. We talked about um, Karen Reed Defence Fund. Aiden, I believe, is at 98000 now. His yeah, defense yeah I don't know what I don't know what his is at. Right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not positive what his is at, but he's got yeah, there's there's two there's two competing defense funds. I'm sure he wishes now that he didn't raise as much money for her so he could have more money for more his money, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The, look at the lands possessive do. I'm not possessive. I'm not possessive. I just get everyone nicked from me. Like they know she gets nicked from me. Um so uh what when, when I when we got good thing like Dave coming on, I'd like to uh have all the goods on on this channel before he goes somewhere else. Still, I get criticized all the time. I talk too much, right? <laughs> but it's like, what am I supposed to do? I, view, I viewed this as kind of like a hang versus like this wasn't yeah. this wasn't people coming on and watching like a, a court TV show. This was just no. two people shooting the shit. You know, two like very it. two very handsome people trying yes. to impress a hot grandmother. That's it. That's what I look at. Yeah. I wish you told me that she was going to be watching before we started. I would have really brought my A game. But yeah, well, I didn't know. She never comes to the channel anymore, Dave. She's yeah. like, she, I'm second best to her. Oh, she knows I got her. You. Yeah, but she, now we're giving her, her now we're giving her more attention and stuff like that. Yeah. So she'll yeah. come back. Yeah. Look, I'm crawling. That's what Dylan and I do. Yeah, we do. We just talk the shit. I honestly, this woman, <laughs> she's got me to get my tits out more times than anyone else on this channel. <laughs> so uh, shoot the streams. There we are. I'm hmm. seeing it. Uh, speaking of Core TV, Vinny starts. I love that Question. guy. I could listen to that guy yeah. talk. I there's just something. I just I love that guy. We should can, we should ask. I'll be your co-host if you can get if you can get Vinny on this channel on a show. Oh. I'm sure nobody has asked Vinny to ever appear actually on something like this. So we Probably should we not, should grab. He could be an easy get. He could be an easy. Get. Yeah, I'd love to. Do we? Can you imagine? Jesus Christ. Uh, hey David. Hey hey Christine. So mate. Um, I think we ended it there because I think it's 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 been good and say we came back on for the rest of it, you know. And I'm sure we can do different segments on it. Um because I generally do uh, appreciate no, you're, it. I think you're there. timing it, you're timing it right too. It's kinda front yeah. like I, even though Turtle Boy had been working on it this entire time and that was needed, it's still like we're three months out, uh two months actually, until it actually hits a courtroom. And I think that's the yeah. perfect amount of time to kind of start telling the story again, start getting people involved in it so that when they actually do get in there, you kind of know the players, you know, everything that's going on. I, I felt like yeah. that like a month ago, two months ago, I was like, I'm so in this story and we're not going to reach any conclusion or see a courtroom for so long. Like, what am I doing? Um, yeah. So now, now is this just kind of a good point to start the process? And as long as you're happy to to be part of the journey, then we're happy to have you, man. Yeah. And Aaron Hack said, yeah, thanks, Dave, for your perspective. Buckle up for what's coming with the FBI investigation. So that's we didn't, we didn't, even, we didn't even talk about that. <laughs> we didn't even the FBI investigating the investigation. It's just you can't make it up. You just can't make it up. 
No, we well, I mean, we get into that. We'll know next time about that, so we can start off with that or something next time. Um, I think well, I try to always keep my streams by an hour and a half to two hours uh, yep. for people to watch. So um, I'll say in favour of Dave, he only committed to one <laughs> episode, but now I've got him uh, hopefully to commit to more episodes because you guys enjoy it as well. So this is a this um, is a pro this is a pro move by you as a host. You're just you're like you know you're selling me. On this, like, thank you. So you and I both know that if you DM me at any point and I can make it, I will be here in a second. You, so, yeah, yeah exactly. you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. No, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. We'll arrange something for the next one anyway. And then after that, we'll, we'll get going. And then you get to meet Lady Law and then you'll be straight back every time. So I will, Lady Law, I will send you the Google Drive. Um, so with that, everyone, go to work, you lazy bastards. Look at Erin, you're supposed to be work. Lady Law, it's supposed to be work. Come on. Shameful. Shameful. Shameful of you guys. Yep. yep. Um, so with that, um, the case is in March, Christine, yes. Um, we'll have a quick chat before you go off, Dave. But I'll end the stream there, guys. As always, free Zachary Anderson. Love you all. I'll see you for the Krieger trial, guys, this afternoon if you're around. Um, yeah, we will get replays, 100%. Um, I know you do, Lady Law. So we will get replays, 100% we we'll get replays on this because I've got my whole um, Erin Hack on it. She'll be telling everyone about it so with that guys see you uh later on saturday hopefully take care guys love you all